What's up, guys? Um, I am here with help on the way, Slipknot, for you today. I'm very excited. I've been um, kind of obsessed over this uh, tune for oh, but the better part of a week, and um, to uh, to in an attempt to, to get this video going for you guys. So I'm very excited. Uh, as you know, kind of a big song. There's a lot of shit that happens in this song, um, but I wanted my whole thing is to simplify music and try and find an easier way to play shit you know i mean there's always a more complicated way to describe how things are done i'm trying to just start at least figure it out simply and then we can get into that but i mean like sometimes it's like the, there's a barrier to entry you know what i'm saying so uh help on the way slipknot so help on the way is is pretty basic for the most part it, and when it transitions there's a uh and we'll get into that. That's the complicated part. So there's a transition into a jam, and then there's a whole modal jam, and then there's a transition out of that jam. Those two transitions are the the tricky technical parts. The other stuff is pretty, pretty loose. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be throwing a lot of shit at you though, so just um, uh, buckle up. But if you're in, if you're in for it, I'll give you everything you need to uh, to pull this off. I'm using the. Um, Blues for Allah, the the studio version, Allah, whatever. Um, for reference, because I I've listened to a lot of live versions and stuff, and um, but I wanted to use this, and I have a little rig here so I can play a little part, and then we'll, I'll show you how to do it, and then we'll we'll get into it. Um, before I, we we even start though, the intro, the bass intro, I've listened to the the studio and a lot of live versions. He does very similar when they go into this, when the guitars come in, bam. -am. He, uh, it's in F. So the, the song's in F Dorian, and which is a mode, D-O-R-I-A-N. And I, I know very little about music theory and modes for that matter, but but it is look up F Dorian and, and then just get that pattern. And usually I'll use it on this F here, uh, like this, and then I use it up here. But uh, the... So for beginners and people that don't know, like me, I looked at, okay, oh, there's the Dorian, there's that pattern, and then you start playing, just plunking around using those notes, and it's, oh yeah, yeah, everything kind of fits, you know, so it makes it easier. F Dorian. And um, uh, so the intro, we're gonna start on this F up here, which is the 13th fret of the E, e string, but but he it'll start, it'll ban it, and he, oh, no. He does that little and so it's just a bodo but a bow bow that and then that all takes place on 13 and 15. Bodo bodo bow bodo and then he'll go bodo but a paradise way. So again, that's that's uh, 13th fret and 15. So now, that, and that, so like I say, he pretty much does that the whole time, and then it's gonna go uh, F to C, and then it'll go to B flat. So we'll play through that first part. I'm gonna stop it, and I'll show you what I'm doing. So that part, it pretty much repeats itself. 
So we do the intro, and um, I'm looking down here. I actually made a cheat sheet, and so I encourage you guys to do this as well, especially if you got a piece of music like this. Sometimes it's just a blues, a one four five blues or whatever, and you get the feel, and, you, and you're good. But something like this, there's a lot of thought that went into writing the song, so you got to just to understand it. So I've my first thing was <clears throat> my first. My first thing was sometimes they'll end on the uh, 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 and sometimes they go um, um, oh, uh, right? So it's, it's, it's F, and then, or, right? So, so I just sit down with my bass and a, a pen and paper and I'll just listen through this tune and, uh, kind of an unfun listen, right? Because you listen and you're like, wait, and you rewind it a little bit just to make sure. And then I just wrote down, you know, 865, and then they go 868. And then they go to the B flat. 868, 865, 868. B flat. 868, 865. And then right here, that's where the guitar solo starts. So this is my own cheat sheet, and I'll, I'll upload a picture of this. But um, this is the, like, I can look at this and as I'm listening to the song, I, and it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, and you can see the guitar solo is going to come up. And then right here is where they help on the way, right? And um, so anyhow, do this. Like, if you want to learn this stuff, and um, there's nothing like familiarizing yourself with a song and really knowing a song. So when you go up to play it with other people, uh, it's, it's cool because... Um, it's important, you know, where you're at and you know what's going on and we're not just hanging on by our, you know, and this is kind of what it takes is you got to take some time, sit and listen to it and break it all down. And um, uh, so so here we go. So th that's the the pretty much the lot of help on the way is the F as the F and that part. I'm just doing a, a box scale or I'm I call it a by. I don't know. But F, and then I'll just go one string down and go boom, 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 boom. That's it. So F, C, boom, F, and then boom, 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 boom. And again, that's just like the the simple form of it. Like you can you can boom. You know, you can like funk it up and then, and so use this as a starting point. Listen to what Phil's doing and see and like, oh, because he, he'll he play my, but but I'm telling you, I've played this like dozens of times now, listening through this recording and it fits right in. The brand new day. So there you go. There's, there's help on the way. And the, Now, now we go to the B flat part, and this again, I'll play this the same way every time. So you go, you go to B flat, and then from the E string, same fret, all the way down to the G. So I'll do this with my middle finger and this index. So boom. You just slide it down one fret, and then whoop. It's that uh, box scale again. And then on the third time, you hold the, and then, so, so that's it. You have the C to the F, right? And then the figure out which way those go. And then you have that, that A, uh, B flat part. And then I just go, boo, 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 uh, uh, uh. just just for now, just to fucking play it. And then, you know, as you learn and listen and you li listen to different recordings or whatever, you have time to really like tr geek out on something. Just do this. Boo, 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 boo. That's the end of that B flat part. Boom, boom. And then right back to this. 
All right, let's keep going. Guitar solo. Okay, okay, okay. So now, now this is a, this is where the lick comes in. This is the the bedrock of this kind of this jam and this this tune. Um, uh, so that's help on the way. We're getting into uh, the shit now. Once it, you know, but but up until then, it's been almost like a blues. You know, it's like A part, B part, C part, boom, 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 boom. So we get into the after the help on the way. Help on the way. Uh, um, the, the next B flat after that, and then you go bam, 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 and then it goes right into the transition. So dig, bam, 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 and here's the lick. Sorry, it was kind of shitty right there. So that lick is seven, uh, sorry, eight, six, five, eight, six, eight, six, wait, wait, eight, six, five, eight, six, eight, eight, six, five, eight. So it's like, so that starts on the A string. Boom, boom, ba, and it's just one, two, this your strings, uh, the the A D G, which is eight six five eight six, and then you go and then you, so it's eight six five eight six, and then you go up to the E string, eight six five eight. Uh, 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 uh. But it actually for for a, what I do is instead of I, I take that part out and I just go bo do da do bo do da do. And it just makes it a little kind of to, to groove it a little bit because something something about that jumbles it up for me. And again, simplify and then practice. And as you gain dexterity or whatever, you know what I mean? Like then you can you can do whatever you want. That's the best part. I'm just showing you what works for me and and trying to make it somewhat approachable. You know what I mean? And uh and then we'll use that as a, a that gets you that gets you in. 
And then from there, now let's explore and see and like, oh, actually, this is it's not, you know, we, if we did this, it'll sound even better and fucking great. That's what I'm, I'm trying to help, you know, kind of spur the the exploration here. But anyhow, let's keep going. Holy shit. So this is the first transition. And I'm telling you, I'm just going to give it to you brass tacks. I'm going to attach, there's a blog some guy wrote, and it totally broke this song down rhythmically on what they're doing on that transition. And it's like, it's confusing as shit, honestly. And so I, uh, right, we're playing this. Okay. Um, so it does that until it, it goes to move. And what it'll, it'll do, it does what's called a diminished scale, I think. Um, I, again, I don't know <laughs> fucking theory, but learning this song, like, you're like, oh. So anyhow, the diminished is, so we're in, we're on seven. We're on eight. Jesus Christ, I'm always. So we're on eight. That's right. So then we're going to go up one fret to nine, and it goes... The scale would be like boom, boom. It it where wherever it is on the fretboard, but that's it's always like that. That's diminished. So when they do these bum bum bum, that's diminished. So it's you're like da 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 and then you're on D. So you just went 8, 9, 10. Okay? And then even in the G uh, uh, here, the like, guitars are going... And off of the G. So that's why that, that this lick here... Learn that. Play that like a thousand times. Just have a cup of coffee and then just go. And um, because that's something that helps you. That's going to serve you all for the rest of your playing career. Just. It's just a, it's just about facility in, in your in your left hand and your right hand, really. I mean, but it's a great because it's kind of it's kind of fast and um, dexterous, maybe is the word. I don't know, but um but yeah, just just play it lots, and so because so they they're playing it. It starts in the F, and then it goes to the G, and then ultimately it's going to descend into an A, and they're going to come out of the A jam. And uh, forgive me if I'm throwing a lot of shit at you. We're 20 minutes in, but I mean this is a fucking lo- big song. So, um, so learn that lick. That's that's okay. The end. So then we go to nine diminished, and when it goes to the G, I'll just hold the D or the G rather, and then it'll bump up one more diminished. Okay, stay with me. So we went from F, and then we go to the diminished, and then we go to the G, and we just hang out because the. The rhythm is a little weird here, so you got to kind of find out when to jump in and then grab that. And then here's the descent, okay? On the A string, it'll be seven, nine, nine, seven, seven, five, three, two, open. Okay, so on the A string, it's going to be like this. Boom, bam, boom, bam. You get that? How it kind of it kind of crisscrosses. So it goes up, down, up, down, down. That's when everybody lets out a big A minor and 
Um, so let's go. Real quick, the so this is a uh, Dorian as well. So we were F Dorian, so A Dorian. So the pattern here on the if you start at the fifth fret, it would be five seven eight five seven. Four, five, seven, four, five, seven. So I can do this, watch. I'll noodle along this whole like part and I'll, I'll just stay in those notes. And bear with me, I'm just, but I'm just trying to kind of like follow along. So let's go. Okay, so pardon the, the noodling there. I was, but, but again, I was just sticking to those notes and just trying to kind of follow along. And that's what's great about this. So if, once you learn the, the pattern, so the, a mode is a pattern. Just, and it stretches out forever, but I, just, I was just keeping it restricted right there just for simplicity's sake. And you can see you, you, there's a lot you can do in there. And, um, and I'm just trying to kind of vibe into it with the guys, which is really cool to do. Um, so yeah, uh, a Dorian or Dorian mode. Anyways, I, I guess it's it's minor, but don't 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 fucking don't stress. You know, don't your lack of understanding cannot st slow you down. Just just learn and play and learn and play and learn and play. And you 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 begin at the beginning. You are where you are. And um, again, I I know very little about music and I play a lot. You know what I mean? And I have a lot of fun. And it's just it's great. It's great. So, so the, the, so from the, the E, the, the F, the original F Dorian, the first part, and then it does all that, that diminished and, and then we're in G and then it does a diminished and then it does this. Okay. And then we're in that A 
Dorian jam. And that's when they say it's a modal jam. It's because, like, everybody's in a Dorian. And then you just fucking go. You know what I mean? And, and it opens up a lot of possibilities when you're grooving and stuff. Um, so... So now we're in A, and that that was goes on for five minutes or whatever it is. So when they come out of it, okay, they'll they'll hit the uh, and the A. That'll kind of get everybody back. And then so you're in A here, and then what it'll do is similar to the F, and then the 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 diminish here, and then the G, and then the diminish here. It goes A, then up and 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 it goes diminished. Back to the A. Bananana, bananano, bananano. And then it'll go diminished on the A sharp or B flat. And then up to the. Uh, that's a, a C sharp, actually. Wait, yeah, yeah. Because I'm at B. So we're sh C sharp. Um, boom, boom. Forgive me there. So that's the A part. Ba da 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 Back to the A. Bananano, 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 uh, diminished, and then diminished, and then the descent again here. Uh, boom. Uh, 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 uh. And then it, it does this. And when you hit that, just, just breathe a sigh of relief because you're done, man. After that, it's, it's Franklin's Tower, and it's just, it's all like, it's like cake. You know? And that's the, yeah, that's A, C, and then uh, E, D, A. And then you go into Franklin's Tower. And so Franklin's Tower is, is actually a different mode. Now they go to, it goes to Mixolydian. So look that one up too. So again, don't, don't get excited, but do, uh, Look up Dorian and learn the first part of the song. And, and once you get through this whole thing and it switches to, because it feels different, right? When um, Franklin's Tower kicks in, it's like, ah, and every, it brightens up and everybody's like happy and jumpy and smiley and shit. Well, it's because the, the feel of the, the mode is different, you know? And so the, the music feels different. And that's what's cool about this. So when it goes, so the, the Mixolydian would be five, seven, Four five seven four five seven. That's mixo. So then you. But I don't want to get you know look up mixolydian and 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 figure it out. But um, so that and so for for Franklin's for me is a, and then just like a boom. Bam. I like to go to the to the G. And this is fun because you I like to use like the dead notes and stuff. So it's boom. But it's actually boom. But but boom. But down bit to do. It's better da better da ba ba Roll away, I do. So so yeah, that's that, and that just goes on forever. And and but but if you learn that that mode, and and again, you, you don't have to confuse yourself getting too far away. But it is, it exists on the over you know overall but just learn some groupings of those patterns and um it should give it uh give you some help so i'm at 30 minutes here um and i think we did it all i apologize if i i take forever to get to the fucking point but um i had to get this out to the world and so if anybody has any questions or any ideas in that <laughs> Ah, uh, whatever whatever uh, i hope this helps somebody because i know i've gotten a few messages from people wanting to get into this uh this tune and um so yeah that's uh that's all i got for now man i'll uh i'll, I'll keep coming at you with some more good stuff but we'll keep the bass uh the bass dead dead tunes coming 
All right. Thanks, everybody. Peace.